Today we're making barbecue pig beans. Wow, that's really good. When it comes to sides, this one is probably one of my favorites. It's uh, super customizable. You can make it exactly how you like it, put different meats, different veggies into it. And today I'm gonna show you guys my way of making it. The ingredients for this recipe are also pretty straightforward and you probably have most of these in your house already. So we've got some diced up veggies. We've got a red bell pepper, a jalapeno, half of a white onion. We've got some brown sugar. I'm gonna season everything with my all-purpose seasoning. Now, when it comes to the beans, we're not gonna do this from scratch. I'm using these uh, Bush's original beans. Having tried this with different beans and also making it from scratch, this is a great way to do it and also saves you a whole bunch of time. Now, you can also make this from scratch using raw beans, but you gotta start the process the day before. You gotta soak them and, you know, it comes out really good, but uh, Bush's originals really work well with this recipe. I'm also gonna add a little bit of a Miller Lite to give it some of that beer and hoppy flavor. It should be really good with our beans. And to balance everything out and to give it some heat, I'm gonna add this Florida Man's Lunacy Roasted Garlic Hot Sauce. So a quick note about this hot sauce. If you're into hot sauces and you like roasted garlic, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I found this on TikTok about two years ago. Uh, this guy makes it in Florida, does the name Florida Man's Lunacy, and this sauce is delicious. It is super hot, but uh, it's packed full of flavor. It can really tasted roasted garlic and a little bit goes a long way so this is going to be awesome with this recipe and for our meats i'm going to be using some thick cut bacon and some polish sausage the great thing about this recipe you can really use any meats that you have leftover pulled pork brisket uh, ground beef really anything here will work uh, we're doing a polish sausage because i'm polish and i love polish sausage so it's going to be great and finally, we've got some yellow mustard and a sweet barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's is my go-to. For this recipe, you wanna make sure you use a sweeter sauce because we're gonna have a lot of that bacon grease, the spices, the jalapeno. So the sweet sauce is a great way to kind of balance everything out. We're gonna start by cutting up our meats. So I've got my bacon. And you just wanna cut this up into small pieces. We're gonna render this down in a cast iron skillet. So I've got about, I don't know, about six strips of uh, thick cut bacon. So just take your knife and uh, just cut this up to these uh, roughly same size pieces. Doesn't have to be perfect, just get it cut up. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind is I like using thicker cut bacon for this recipe. So that way when it's uh, rendered down, you get those nice meaty pieces out of it. If you use uh, regular or super thin bacon, it'll just kind of cook down into almost nothing. So, so this is just kind of what we're looking for here. Okay, so let's move this off to the side. And next, we'll prep our sausage. So again, I'm going with Polish sausage, but uh, feel free to use whatever meats you like. I'm gonna start by cutting these up into discs, just like this. We got Jax over here smelling all the meats. Here, Jax, you want one? Yeah, you do. Oh yeah. Everybody likes a good Polish sausage. And next, we're just gonna quarter these guys up. So you want nice small pieces. You know, we're making these uh, barbecue pit beans, so you don't want anything to be too big. So this is kind of what, uh, what we're going for. For this cook, I'm gonna be using my large big green egg, and I uh, just realized I'm all out of my uh, fire starter. So here's a nice little trick you guys can do. Um, I've got some crumpled up paper towels. You just put this right in your coals and some regular vegetable oil. And then just pour a little bit of the oil on your paper towel. Okay, and just like this, get it soaked a little bit, take your lighter and then just ignite everything so the oil will help it burn nice and slow, keep a steady flame and uh, we'll get our charcoal going. So if you're out of uh, fire starters or find yourself in the pinch starting your, uh, your grill, it's a, a cool little trick to get the uh, fire going. While the uh, grill is preheating, I'm gonna put the uh, cast iron skillet right on the grate. And just like that, I'm gonna drop in our entire chopped up bacon into the cold skillet so this will help the fat render out and i will start to crisp up the uh, meaty part without burning it we are a, a couple minutes in and our bacon is rendering down nicely get all this fat coming out so the trick here is to put the bacon in when the cast iron skillet is cold which will allow the fat to render out and it's not going to burn if you just drop it into a hot cast iron skillet it'll most likely burn and that fat's not going to render out so this is what you're going for. I'm gonna bring this out so you guys can see a little bit better. Nice and crispy bacon, beautiful color. Look at that, this is, uh, this is looking great. So what I'm gonna do now is just remove the bacon. 
the slotted spoon and leave all the grease in the skillet. Pull all this out. Ooh, this bacon smells so good. Check out the color. It is just looking absolutely perfect. Beautiful golden brown. You want to pull it off a minute or so before you think it's done because it's still going to continue cooking once it's out. Just like any other meat, there's always a little bit of that carryover cooking. But uh, yeah, check that out. This looks great. And now I'm going to drop in my Polish sausage right in this bacon grease. So the next step is to brown this up. I'm going to take the skillet back on the grill and then just cook this for a few more minutes. Give this guy a stir. Make sure that sausage is uh, coated in that bacon grease. So as you can see with the lid up, the vents open, that flame or that fire is starting to build up a little bit more. So I'm going to close the lid, make sure it doesn't get too hot. Leave it on for, I don't know, two, three minutes. Once that sausage is nicely browned up, then we'll continue on. Check out the sausage. <laughs> this is looking so nice. Beautiful golden brown. It almost like it deep fried in, the, uh, in this bacon grease. Here, check this out. Wow. All right, so we're going to pull off the uh, sausage as well. Again, we're going to leave all that fat in our skillet. It's going to be uh, a ton of flavor in these beans. Next up, I'm going to drop in all my veggies into the uh, skillet. So we've got the uh, onion, we've got the red bell pepper, and the jalapeno. And we'll put this whole thing back on the grill. On the grill it goes. We'll give it a, a stir. And I'm just going to cook this down for, uh, for a couple minutes just to soften these guys up a little bit. They are looking and smelling great. Sauteing in that bacon grease, that sausage fat. All right, our veggies are softened up. Check this out. Looking really nice, getting bubbly in, uh, in that bacon fat. So now we can assemble uh, the rest of our beans and uh, finish everything off. First up, I'm going to put the uh, sausage and bacon right back in our skillet. Our beans are next, so again, we're going with the uh, Bush's original. And uh, the one thing that I'm going to do, so we're going to open up the can and I'm going to drain some of the uh, liquid out. We're going to be adding more liquid into our beans and uh, we don't want to make it, you know, too watery or too soupy. So, and then just drain some of this liquid out. Ooh, look at that. There we go. And also a whole can of Bush's beans. There we go. Next we're going to go in with our brown sugar. So, you know, about a tablespoon or so. And again, you can adjust this as you go. If you like it a little bit sweeter, add more, less, add less. Okay. Yellow mustard is next. This will just help add a little tanginess and help keep everything in balance. Oops. There we go. So about a, about a tablespoon. Our Florida Man's Lunacy Roasted Garlic Hot Sauce. Again, this stuff is delicious. Ooh, just smells like roasted garlic. Again, super spicy, so a little bit goes a long way. So I want to say about a teaspoon or so. We've got our beer next. So Miller Lite. It's pretty good. We'll go with about a uh, half a can. A lot of this will cook out and render down when it's, uh, when it's on the grill and our sweet barbecue sauce. So we're going to go pretty heavy with the sauce. So add more sweetness, that beautiful color, again, help thicken everything up. And then we can adjust as this thing is cooking later on if we need to add more. And for the seasoning, again, I'm going to season with my all-purpose rub. So it's a good blend of salt, pepper, spices, has that nice color to it as well. So we'll go with about a tablespoon or so. Okay, now just stir everything together. Oh man, look at these. You can already tell that these beans will be pretty spectacular. We're using this uh, cast iron skillet, but you can also make this in a uh, Dutch oven or a bigger, bigger pan. You know, I'm using my big green egg, but feel free to make these uh, inside as well. I like doing these on the grill. It gives it a little bit of that uh, smoky flavor. Then we put this back on right now and uh, just tastes so much better. One last thing before these go on the egg, I'm going to put in the plate setter to create this indirect cooking zone so our beans don't burn. So the plate setter is there. Our grate goes right on top. 
And our uh, cast iron skillet with our barbecue pit beans goes right on top. Ooh. <laughs> All right, check these out. Our barbecue pit beans are ready and they are looking amazing. Let's, uh, let's give these guys a stir. So these were on the, uh, on the egg for about an hour and a half. And really all that we're doing is just warming it up and adding that additional smoky flavor from the, from the charcoal. So you don't have to keep it on for too long, really depending on how you like it or what temperature you're cooking at. I had these on about 275. And uh, yeah, these are looking absolutely amazing. You can see the sausage, the veggies. They thickened up real nice. Ooh, we'll let them cool down for uh, just a couple minutes because they are very hot. And then we'll try them out. My barbecue pit beans cool down. They are smelling amazing. And uh, look at this, just check these out. <laughs> you can see the beans, the sausage, the veggies. They are looking so good. So uh, let's try it out. Let's make sure we get a little bit of everything. We've got our sausage, the beans. Ooh, here we go. Wow. Wow, that is really good. It's the perfect mix of sweet, spicy, smoky, savory. All these flavors work together so well. This is the perfect side really to any dish. Barbecues, cookouts, tailgating. They are super easy to put together and, uh, and it's just really good. You get a little bit of the sweetness from the barbecue sauce, the brown sugar, but our hot sauce and the uh, yellow mustard just balances everything out. You get the tender beans, the savory sausage, everything cooked in that bacon grease. This is, uh, this is really delicious. And again, super easy to make. You don't really need any special ingredients. And uh, yeah, they are perfect. Mm. So good. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to get all the notifications, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. So good.